now we are going to identify the object using the object spy tool let me open UFT first as I already said uh, it is always a good practice to open the UFT and select the respective add-ins for web the button needs to be selected click on ok button AFT is opened we already created a sample action so I am just opening it here we have tools in that object spy cap symbol this object spy utility which will help us to identify the object in the hierarchical way the shortcut is from here also you can open the object spy tool now open the IE we'll be using the Indian Railways website for our development purpose the reason to choose this website because uh, the object in this website will be keep on changing that is dynamic objects now we will spy the object here you can able to see the hand symbol just click on that it will take you to the previous window just move the cursor over each object it will show you the hierarchy in which the object is identified and it is a link this is also a link and it's an image like that it will show you the hierarchy of each object now I am going to add the reserved train between important station just click on that now you can able to see the hierarchy in which the object is identified inside the browser we have the page inside the page we have a uh, mini web tables at the end we have this particular link similarly like uh, as I said in the car example how we follow the hierarchy and identify the object the same logic is used here and second you can see here highlight in application which is used to highlight the each object for example I am just selecting the browser and clicking on highlight you can able to see it is showing it then page I am highlighting it is highlighting it similarly web table so inside the page they have created a web table then you can see inside that web table they created one more web table for this particular object and finally we can able to highlight and confirm our particular object so it is always a best practice before adding object highlight and confirm it here you can see the plus symbol this is add object to repository so repository is nothing but it is a place where we use to store the object just click on this plus symbol this object is added uh, once it is added this particular symbol will be disabled then you can see the properties tab which uh, displays all the properties and values of this particular link object and uh, the classes link and a uh, few more example like inner text is reserved train between important station like that we have text and uh, even xpath also then you can see the next tab operations it will show you the methods which is available for this particular object uh, for example capture bitmap which is used to take the capture screenshot here that syntax is given even the description is also given similarly click 
it is a method which is used to click like this we have so many methods so based on our requirement we have to choose our particular methods now we will go and check whether the object is added to the object repository under resource you can see the object repository shortcut key is control r here you can able to see the hierarchy in which the object is added um, while adding the objects it will not include the web tables even here we can confirm whether we have added the object correctly or not just by highlighting it then you can see the name the name will be given automatically by the uft and class it's a link and it the repository is a local repository test object details uh, which contains the description properties nothing but the mandatory and assistive property uh, then visual relational identifier ordinal identifier smart identification also we have it these three things i will tell you in the upcoming session when to use and when not to use then you can able to see the plus symbol which is used to add the objects and its property i am going to add a inner text click ok the inner text also added and even you can delete it i am deleting the text now just click on highlight button and confirm whether the object is highlighting or not whenever you do any modification to your objects try to highlight and confirm it now just drag and drop here you can able to see the code is auto generated along with the method or the action which you are going to perform then go to run test name a sample and test location under the option you can see two radio button one is a new result new run result folder for every execution it will create a new folder or while doing the unit testing it is always a best practice to choose the second radio button so that it will override uh, each execution results files then click on run now you can see the train between important station link is clicked and a particular page is loaded along with that it created the results file also the results file is auto generator it is done that's the end of today's session in upcoming tutorials we will be seeing in details about object repository results file naming convention like that in case of any clarification please post your queries and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching